Hi everybody, Laura here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a couple of fun and festive stocking stuffers to share with you. I'm calling these the Slider Surprise Candy Bar Wrapper Stocking Stuffer. I know it's a mouthful, but they're actually very easy to make and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I have a sheet of craft card stock, but you could use any color that floats your boat. And I cut it to five and a quarter wide by 10 inches long. I'm gonna do two of these, so I'll show you this again. Craft cardstock cut at five and a quarter inches wide, and then 10 inches long. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we're gonna do a little bit of scoring and pulling out my old scoreboard here. I'm gonna score it at one inch and then at one and a half inches. Then I'm gonna slide on down and do it at five and a half inches and then at six inches. So just four score marks, one, one and a half, five and a half, and six. Couldn't be easier. Now I'm gonna fold this up and this is what makes the base of our little candy bar wrapper. Using my trusty Teflon bone folder. I couldn't live without this tool. I'm telling you, I think it's my most beloved tool other than my paper trimmer and my stamp chamois. Okay, so this is what you get, like this little box wrapper thingy. Now, not to turn this into a candy bar commercial, but I just happen to have these. And this is was, was the inspiration. I've got canusper flakes, which is like corn flakes in the chocolate bar. Very good. This one is called honey salt almond. I mean, forget about it. But the number one in my book is always gonna be peppermint. So these just happen to fit in here like it was meant to be. If you don't have Ritter Sport, you could probably find other candy that fits like a king size Kit Kat or something. I don't know, or you could adapt the size of this if you wanna make it more narrow and long like a traditional candy bar. Um, I just happen to have these on hand and it fit perfectly for the size of the slider surprise dynamics die set. See how that fits exactly? So what I wanted to do now is find a rectangle or square die that could cut a little window opening so that when you open the slider, it gives you a sneak peek of the candy bar inside. Um, this is optional. You don't have to cut a window opening. I just thought it'd be fun. So I rummaged through my dies trying to find a rectangle that was kind of an appropriate size. Doesn't have to be exact. If you can't find one, you could always just cut one with a craft knife or you could just skip this step entirely and not make a sneak peek window, but I do kind of like it. Uh, but if you didn't want to do a window, you could always write a message when you open the slider surprise, or you could put a gift card. Lots of fun, different things you can do. Doesn't have to be a window, but I will say the window is kind of fun. Okay, so here's how I'm going to assemble this. I have some half inch score tape and I'm putting that down just to hold the candy in place so that it doesn't slide out of the wrapper or shift around. So a little score tape just to hold it. You could also use like a glue dot or tape runner. And then I'll put a little more of this score tape on that one inch flap that I'm gonna tuck under. So it'll be a nice, seamless, professional looking box. There you have it. She's sturdy, she's steady, and she's about to get festive. Okay, I put together the other candy bar wrapper, and now moving on to the slider surprise dynamics die set. I did one out of red and one out of craft, but again, you could customize these for different occasions or different holidays. This is the other die that goes with the slider surprise. It's kind of the pull tab thingamajiggy. I did two out of white, but it wasn't festive enough. I was like, Laura, kick it up a notch. So I pulled out the holiday cheer pattern paper pack and I did a couple of festive diagonal stripe and just horizontal stripe. And I'm gonna cover that white cardstock with the pattern paper. And that'll give you double the sturdiness and double the festiveness, right? So I just used Gina K Tape Runner to adhere those two together. Now here is the front of the slider surprise. So you've got the front, which when you die cut it, it gives those score marks. So you gotta kinda prep that folded part window thing. I don't have the words for these interactive mechanisms. And okay, so you've got your slider front and then you your pull tab, which goes in the back. Now I'm gonna adhere the pull tab 
to the slider front. All you need is a little bit of adhesive. One piece, I use fourth inch score tape right along that bottom fold, and then you uh, line it up with the pull tab at the top. I kind of center it, and then I just press down, and that's all you need to do to adhere those two pieces together. I'll do the second one to show you. Again, I flip it over on the back, and I put fourth inch score tape right along that bottom fold like that. Line up the slider surprise front to the pull tab up at the top. I kind of center it and then I press down, bada boom. There you have it. Now I want to adhere this whole thing to my candy wrapper. I use some strips of foam tape just to give it a little breathing room, a little track for the slide. I don't think you necessarily have to use foam tape, but it does give a nice smooth slide for your candy wrapper. Slides as good as room temperature butter on warm toast, I'm telling you. Okay, so there you have it, and it's super fun. Look at that, now you get a little sneak peek of your candy inside. Now to embellish the boxes. I pulled out the Joyful Wreath Dynamics die set. I'm gonna do elegant, classy, but you could do cutesy if you wanna do some little cute critters, um, or you could do customize a name, die cut some letters and put a name across the front. Uh, lots of different things you could do to embellish the boxes. Uh, I did the Joyful Wreath and I did two shades of green and some gold glitter cardstock for the joy. Now, when you go to adhere whatever you're gonna put on the front, you wanna make sure that you only adhere on the left side or whatever, the bottom part of the fold. So you don't need much adhesive. You're not gonna fully adhere the wreath. Just a little bit for that left fold. That's all you need. And so I did the light green wreath first and then I'm gonna layer it a little bit with the dark green over top, staggering it for the wreath magic. And then I did um, die cut three more white joy word dies so that I could stack it up and make a dimensional joy word. I like my, you know dimension is life. So I like my joy to pop, again, optional. And I'm only adding a smidge of glue on the left side of the O because you want the right side to be able to lift off and show you that interactive slider surprise magic. Now to finish these off, I added a few little rainbow jewels here and there to give the wreath some Christmas bling. And look at this, you slide it and you just enjoy the sneaky peek of your cashew Ritter Sport. And it's like a, it's like a present, but it's a treat, but it's a slider surprise candy wrapper stocking stuffer. And I gotta tell you, normally I shy away from interactive cards. I do, especially making interactive card videos because they can be hard to explain and I, I don't feel qualified. But let me tell you, if I can do this, you can do this. And I hope you give it a try. You can do this for any occasion. And um, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.